What's up guys, Jake here. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how much snow you can make with a home snow gun. Let's take a look at the three main factors that are gonna affect snow output. Number one is water flow. Number two is temperature and humidity. And number three is the snow gun design. Water flow is gonna be the most important factor that affects snow output. Simply put, the more water moving through the system, the more snow will be produced. To give you a rough idea of how much snow you can expect to make, we're gonna to wanna to look at the pressure washer being used in the system. Each pressure washer will have a flow rate or a GPM rating in gallons per minute. This rating is going to tell us approximately how many inches per hour can be produced through the snow gun. So for example, if we had a pressure washer at one GPM, we can expect to make one inch per hour of snow through the snow gun. And the area spread will be different depending on the snow gun design. The second factor that's going to affect snow output is temperature and humidity. Lower temperatures and lower humidities will produce larger snow piles. The snow pile that's produced with lower temperatures and lower humidity will have a greater volume as compared to more marginal snowmaking temperatures. Since colder temperatures are able to freeze the water droplets quicker, the snow pile itself will appear larger as there's more air volume inside of the snow. As an example, let's take a setup with a 1 GPM pressure washer. Let's say we ran that system for about six hours and the average temperature was 28 degrees Fahrenheit, which is right on the border of snowmaking conditions. In the picture on the left, you'll see that the snow pile appears to be a a little bit wet and is more condensed it's more packable snow with that same scenario let's say the average temperature was 22 degrees Fahrenheit with the same amount of water flowing through the system the picture on the right is going to appear a lot larger than the picture on the left since the average temperature was around 22 degrees Fahrenheit the third factor that's going to affect snow output is snow gun design within the snow gun design we have a few things that can affect snow output the first is nozzles so having the proper nozzles fastened in the snow gun will create the proper size water drop droplets for snowflakes to form. If improper nozzles are used, then the water droplets will either be too small or too large, which can affect snow output. The second thing is going to be a nucleator. A nucleator provides a nucleation site for water droplets to freeze onto to form snowflakes. We'll go into more detail on that in our snowmaking science video, but simply put, if the snow gun design doesn't produce the proper nucleation sites for water droplets to freeze onto, it can dramatically affect snow output. And lastly, the orientation of the snow gun design is important for snow output. If the nozzles and the nucleator are oriented in the proper way, then some water droplets will not freeze into snowflake and they can fall as larger water droplets or not be nucleated. If that happens, then you'll have a mixture of water and ice, which can affect snow output as well. You can find more info at backyardsnowstorm.com slash learn. We'll go into more detail about our snow gun design, snow making science, recommended equipment, and frequently asked questions. Thanks for watching and have a great day.